everyone, today's video is going to be an update on my no buy. So if you're not familiar, I have been on a no buy for 13 months at this point, which means I have not been buying any makeup or beauty products um, like excessively um, for an entire 13 months, which is a big old chunk of time if you ask me. So um, before this, I was buying, I was probably hauling a couple times a month, honestly, um, and just buying as much makeup as I could get my hands on, really. And I didn't like that. I felt like it was wasteful. It's terrible for the environment. Absolutely horrible. Um, because you're just, you know, consuming way more than you can ever use. And now I have this giant makeup collection that in a lot of ways I really like. But also, I just have way more than I can use. And it, like I said, it just seems wasteful. And we're in this um, crisis uh, is not a dramatic term for um, what's going on in the world right now. And me adding to that by over consuming things that I don't even use or need um, is ridiculous. Now makeup in and of itself is not a need. We can all agree with that. But I understand that a lot of people, including myself, feel more comfortable with makeup and that's fine. I'm not saying, you know, I feel like you have to decide what is a need for you or what, you know, you're comfortable with. Um, and so for me, like I, I feel much more comfortable with makeup. So I do wear it, obvious, obviously. Um, but you know, like, to what point? And if you're buying makeup to use it. Now I know there's people that buy makeup for like, um, I don't know, for like a collection. Like, I mean, like you can see like I have things like that Christmas tree right there. Like I'm not using it. It's out. I'm enjoying it. I like to look at it. Um, so, you know, I guess it depends on what you're buying. But if you're buying makeup because you want to try it and you want to use it, which I feel like is a lot of people, you don't need a ton of it. You don't need 47 setting sprays when you can only use one at a time. And then you get to the point where what you're using is old and it's gone bad. And if you keep on keep on buying, you're never going to use it. And it's just wasteful. And the packaging that was used to make it, the resources that you utilize to make it, it's all a waste. So I decided to go on a no buy. And so for 13 months now, I haven't bought makeup or skincare unless I needed it, unless I could completely ran out of something. And makeup's really the focus of mine because I never had an issue over buying skincare. Um, and in those 13 months, I've learned a lot. I haven't bought, like I said, any excess of makeup, any makeup that um, wasn't like I ran out of something. So this month I actually had ran out of two things and I had no backups. So this past month I ran out of concealer, meaning I had no concealer in my collection whatsoever. So I went ahead and purchased one. I purchased the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal um, and Contour. It's fine, I've done a review of it. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be up yet. I think it'll be up. I can't remember, I don't know what day I'm posting this. but. It's coming very soon, if not up already, of this concealer, and I don't really love it, but I bought it, so I'm going to use it up. I know people don't like it when people say that, but I think if I just got rid of it, I'm just further adding to the problem, and I'm not comfortable with that. So I am much more comfortable using something that I don't love um, than adding to the problem of just throwing it away and overusing things, or overbuying things. So um, I tried this, and... You know, it's fine. And then I also bought, I also ran out of setting spray. So again, I had absolutely no setting sprays. I do have normal to dry skin and it's getting drier. I live in Ohio, it's getting very cold. Um, and so setting sprays for me really like sink in my foundation. I really like the way they work and I think they do something that I feel like is um, an important step in my makeup routine. So um, for makeup, I bought the Makeup Revolution again, um, the Hyaluronic Fix Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. I only wanted to buy drugstore items because I can't, I'm not really in a place where I can spend like $40 on a setting spray, honestly. Um, and that's fine, like this works, it's, it's a setting spray. And I actually really like this one um, and it wasn't very expensive and I had never tried Makeup Revolution. So I decided to get both of these um, and you know, that's fine. Like I said, I needed, I ran out of things and I feel a lot better just buying things when I've run out of them. Um, and I think that it's something that we can all be better about, it, or not all, that's dramatic, because some people don't over consume um, things. And it's not just about makeup, you know, I'm focusing on makeup predominantly on my channel, but you, I'm sure you know somebody that has like 57 pairs of jeans. And it's like, I understand that clothes are something that you wear every day, and clothes do get worn out, just like makeup does get used up. But when you have so many, it's like, girl, you don't need that. Or boy, you don't need that. Like, that's just way too much. Um, 
you know, I just feel like when we consume way more than we can utilize and we consume things that are perishable, makeup is perishable, it does go bad. Um, and so if we just keep buying it and buying it and buying it with like no end in sight, then we're just gonna use, you know, it's gonna go bad and then we're gonna throw it away and then we're adding to the trash. We have consumed items that took energy and took resources and they will just stay in the environment forever. And that's not, that's not good. I don't think we should want that. Um, so part of it too, something that I would like to start focusing on more on my channel and um, my Instagram, I don't really post on Twitter or Facebook. Um, is like looking at the packaging on stuff and is it really a sustainable packaging and is this a good brand and trying to be really cognizant of um, my carbon footprint as far as my beauty routine is concerned because like I understand especially in America like we feel very much like you can't limit me you can't tell me what to do you can't say I can't wear makeup and um, I agree with that to, to a certain extent but at the same time it's like yeah but when you're buying 20 eyeshadow palettes in a month that you can't use and you put it in a drawer and like, sure, it might make you happy, but you've used so much resources and added to so much consumerism and trash and grossness. And it's not just affecting you, it's affecting the whole world. It honestly is. Um, if you don't know, I am a scientist. I have a bachelor's degree in zoology, a master's degree in marine science, and I'm um, a year and a half through my PhD in biology. So I'm not just shouting. I didn't like randomly read a BuzzFeed article and I've decided this and I've tried, especially in this series, I've tried to be really cognizant of the um, environmental impact and I talk about it a lot and I try to talk about it in my trash. So I try to keep it um, relevant on my channel, but I just, I think I could be doing a better job about it because it is something I think is really important and I think it affects all of us. So that's how I feel about it. Um, but you know, um, I feel like this mindset also, and it has been a sh huge shift in my mindset, and I'm not saying I'm perfect, because like if you look at my makeup collection in my office, like it's it's absurd. Um, but I'm going to do better from now on, and that's, you can't, that's all I can do. I can't go backwards. I, we don't, we haven't invented time travel. Uh, so, you know, that's what I can do from here on forward, and it'll give you more money, you know? Like I definitely found that without buying money on makeup, I've had money to do other things and um like last weekend was it last weekend or is it two weekends ago i think it was two weekends ago john and i went and saw a sherlock holmes play i love sherlock holmes um and we went and saw a sherlock holmes play and i went and saw a rocky horror picture show play um which is something else i love john didn't go with me to that because he's not interested but you know i got to do other things that i love and it's like sure i could have bought an eyeshadow palette with um the money from those three tickets but like I think I enjoyed this play more, you know, and I don't feel like I was adding to consume to this like crazy amount of I need to buy everything. And it's something that I struggle with, not just with makeup in a lot of areas of my life, but thinking about it on a more global scale as opposed to a more personal and truly selfish scale, I think helps me at least not want to go buy 47 uh, concealers when I already have one at home. You know, I have one at home, I don't love it, but I'll use it up and then I will not purchase it again and I'll buy something new. So that's just kind of what I want to do and then, um, it's where I want to go from here on out, you know? Um, and that's that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, I also want, I'm, I'm planning on being on the snow buy for until I have less than a thousand individual pans of makeup in my collection. I currently have 1,377, which is a lot. Um, but even after that, I think a lot of makeup is redundant. And that's not just makeup. That comes with a lot of things. Movies are redundant and fashion gets redundant. But it's like I don't need another yellow eyeshadow if I can make a 45 minute long video talking about all of my yellow eyeshadows. You know, if I have things, I don't need to buy things that are fill the same niche, if you will. So instead, I want to make sure that when I am purchasing more makeup, it's, I'm only purchasing things that are unique to my collection and things that I'll wear. Like, I don't currently own a lime green lipstick, but I don't think I'd ever wear a lime green lipstick, so I don't need it. So if somebody comes out with a lime green lipstick, I don't need it. I don't need to buy that because I wouldn't wear that. Now, 
That being said, you know, like today, this is a pigment, it's not glitter, but like those Stila glitter and glows, I wear those at least once a week, usually multiple times a week. So if they came out with a shade and I didn't feel like it was too similar to something else and I didn't own something already very similar, like I wouldn't feel guilty about it. I have on this inner corner is Stila Glitter and Glow and Perlina. I love glitter. Now, for some people, they're like, hey, I do wear lime green lipstick every day. Great. If you don't have one in your collection and you want one, go get one. If you, you know, but that doesn't mean you have to have one just because it's come out. And I think that if we were all a lot more um, conscious, I guess is the right word, of what we buy. And we only bought things that were unique or things that we were truly interested in. It would change the way makeup is produced because it is mass produced now. And, you know, we have brands like ColourPop that literally every single week have multiple releases. And people aren't interested in all of that. And, you know, like... I obviously have a channel, it's not like the biggest channel in the world, but me talking about it I hope helps, but more than that, me choosing where to spend my money is what is going to make the difference, because if they come out, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to use Colourpop as an example, that Coconuts palette they just came out with, it was a, a predominantly brown palette, a lot of light browns um, and some like champagne-y shimmers. Uh, a lot of now somebody might just be getting into makeup and they're like I don't I don't own any of that I don't have those kind of colors great I hope you purchased it um, or something similar to that if that's the kind of thing you'd wear but a lot of us already have it and if so if no if if a large majority of people are not purchasing that great they're not gonna come out with it they're not gonna make stuff like that if people stopped purchasing every single color pop release I'm just using color pop as an example I'm not trying to like um, attack that brand specifically it's just one of the most obvious choices then they're not going to come out with things if they're losing money on it because they're a business and that's a bad business model so I'm really happy about the snow buy I'm happy about what it's taken me um, I started with like I want to say 1470 items so I'm almost down a hundred items in my collection um, that's a net because like when I ran out of concealer I bought this one so I it doesn't count as a loss um, and I'm, I'm happy with it and I'm happy with my mindset as far as makeup is concerned and I'm a lot more satisfied with what I own because I do find myself being like ooh like I've been craving a green gl glitter look I've just been like really into that um, and I was like I don't own anything like that well then I looked through my collection and I pulled out the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette I put on a green eyeshadow put the, gr the green moon dust shade over it and it was exactly what I'd been wanting and I already had it and you know, I think previously I would have gone out and bought some green glitter, but I don't need it. Because, you know, and also, the more you really spend time in your own collection, the more you realize what you have. And you might find yourself being like, oh, you know, for like four days in a row, I've tried to reach for a matte red lipstick and I don't have one and I think I would use it. Then go get one. You know, I'm not trying to say you can't ever buy makeup. And if you don't want to buy makeup, great. You have no ecological impact as far as makeup is concerned and that's excellent. Um, you know, just be conscious of what you're purchasing and this nobody has helped me do that and I hope um, potentially it's helped you as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments about it, please go ahead and leave it down below and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.